everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and if you like my vibe subscribe today I'm going to take a fragrance tag that I did and I'm going to make it for fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret I'm gonna explain why I decided to do this so it's 12 fragrance mist one per month so I wanted to do this with the fragrance mist because there are so many people that I enjoy watching and they have massive <laughs> collections from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. And so it would be fun to break down if you could only use 12, let's say if you have, you know, 100 fragrance mists, if you could only use 12, what would they be? That shows the ones you're truly, truly love and enjoy. So I'm going to start off with January. And if you've watched some of my videos, you, you this is gonna be repetitive, but I like to smell sweet in the winter time, especially. That's my favorite time to smell sweet. So I chose for January the fragrance mist for Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla. And it says this is whipped vanilla, soft cashmere, skin to skin. I have only had this, I haven't had this in my collection a year because I tend to get the limited edition fragrances from Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret. But I had been hearing so much about this and I was looking for a good vanilla uh, fragrance mist that I went and picked this up and I don't regret it, y'all. Oh, I, you know, January, 31 days, I would love wearing this 31 days. I love this. If you like vanilla, bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret is where it's at. And I know people say, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm watching videos, what is that vanilla lace or, or something that they used to have at Victoria's Secret? I never liked that fragrance. I never liked it. And what's the one from Bath and Body Works? Warm Vanilla Sugar. I'm not a fan of that fragrance either. Bare vanilla is an absolute love for me. Okay, February is still cold in the south where I live in Texas, but you know, it's not as cold. January, I believe, is our coldest month. February at the beginning is cold, but then I start towards the end, it starts warming up. So I said, what is something that I, a fragrance mist that I would enjoy, you know, cold, it would be nice and sweet, but then it's one of those warm days thrown in there that I would still enjoy it. So I chose Victoria's Secret Tease Glam. Love that bottle. Hot pink. This is a, let me spray it. This is a vanilla marshmallow scent, but it's got a freshness to it, like a citrus note in here. and floral yeah it's very it's a floral sweet fragrance and i think i would enjoy it wearing it in february and i love that pink that pink is so pretty okay next is march so march is getting warmer but you have cool it's Really, you have cool mornings and then you have warmer afternoon, evening here where I live. So I said, what would be good, a good transition fragrance mist that would work cool when it's cool in the mornings and then when it's warm in the afternoons? And I chose Victoria's Secret Forbidden Berries. And this is Juniper Berries Crimson Orchid Total Fantasy. And this, this is what it smells like. It smells just like a bunch of berries. It has a sweetness to it, but it has a tart tartness to it also. As it's just it's a good transitional uh fragrance mist because 
you're going towards the warmer season. You're going towards spring and the flowers, but you're not there yet. You should have some, you know, some winter left over. And I can see this at a crisp, crisp, cool morning and a warm afternoon still smelling great because, you know, I'll be taking it out, shh, 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 refreshing. So for March, I chose Forbidden Berries. Okay, April, spring, flowers are blooming. You're ready, to, well me, I'm ready to put on, you know, my pretty floral prints. I like to, to feel and smell just ultra feminine during the spring. I don't know, very, very pink. So I chose Victoria's Secret Desert Lily. And if you have watched my videos uh, on Fragrance Mist and Collectors of Victoria's Secret, this is an absolute love. This is Lily Sun Tangled Iris Flower Rush. This smells like a perfume. It smells, you smell that lily. It has a powderiness to it. It's a very feminine. It's a very feminine fragrance. Perfect for spring. Perfect. So for April, Desert Lily. May is getting warmer. I am getting ready to be on summer vacation, but I also have things going on at work. I was like, what's a good mix to where, you know, you're off some in May, but you also have special events going on. I said, what would be a good fragrance mist that I would enjoy wearing? And I chose Victoria's Secret Coconut Milk and Rose. And if you watch my, I think my semi-annual sale recommendations for Victoria's Secret, this was one that I fell in love with. This is Feel Calm with the scent of Coconut Milk and Rose, Botanical Inspiration, True Relaxation. And you know how sometimes fragrance mists can have that fragrance mist smell? This one, it just, it smells like a natural rose mixed with coconut. It is calming. You just smell, it's a clean, feminine fragrance. And I love it. And I do love the packaging on this also. To me, it's very pretty. Simple and pretty. So June is hot. <laughs> it's hot. I am winding down the school year. I'm counting down the days of when I will start my summer vacation. And I said, what is something that is, is easy to wear that I wouldn't mind wearing for a full month, whether I'm at work or, you know, at home, going about doing stuff in the summer. And I chose Bath and Body Works Violet Lily Sky. And I know I said this smells like, this reminds me of nail polish remover. And something in it still does, but it smells good. I still like it. And I'm not sitting up here saying, oh, nail polish remover smells good. But this puts me in the mind of that, and I don't know why. But I have noticed I like violet and I like lily in uh, as floral notes. This, to me, is a watery floral fragrance that that's what it is it, to me it would perform wonderfully in the heat it's not heavy because i've been wearing it now and um check out my summer layering combinations to see what perfume i love to wear this with and you just smell you smell soapy and clean but you smell attractive and you smell high end with the fragrance I wear this with. And by itself, you still smell clean and attractive, maybe more toned down and easier way to wear it. So I enjoy it. I wouldn't, I don't think I'd get tired of it. And the way I spray, these bottles would all be gone if I use them every day for a month. So that was for June, July. I am at, I'm on my summer vacation, even though usually in July I'm preparing to go back to work soon. And I am loving life. I'm chilling like a villain. 
And I said, what would I want to wear? So I chose Victoria's Secret Citrus Chill. And I have to be honest, also with me, I thought of fragrances that I would probably be wearing that I would pair this with. And that's one of the reasons why some of these were chosen. Because this one I can see going perfectly. You know, I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be, it's in my layering video. <laughs> yes. Now this is one, let me read it. Sparkling sparkling Tangelo Almond Blooms Frozen Sunshine. This is one that I do not love the opening but the dry down is wonderful but the more i have sprayed this the more i'm starting to enjoy i still don't love the opening as much as i love the dry down but it's growing on me it's a citrus almond scent orange almond that's what i smell you get more of that almond um, in the dry down and at the beginning is it's a heavy citrus mist but I think it would work quite well in the heat and with the fragrance that I love to pair it with in July okay August that was a no-brainer for me Bath and Body Works Saltwater Breeze previous videos I've stated this smells to me like Dolce & Gabbana light blue I love wearing uh, Dolce & Gabbana light blue in the summer, especially, especially the hottest part of the summer. So for August, this was no brainer for me. It smells like it. I wouldn't mind wearing it every day. It smells just like light blue. I love it. On my skin, lemon, heart candy, fresh, woody scent in the dry down. Love this. September is getting, I want another transitional fragrance because I like to smell sweet, but it's still hot in Texas where I live in September. You'll get a cool day here and there, but it doesn't start really getting cooler until the, towards the end of September. So I was like, okay, what would go well? And y'all, this is, I've had this a few months. This is Victoria's Secret Bombshell Intense. This is just a cherry fragrance, but it doesn't smell like that artificial, you know, it's some cherry, let me spray it, I haven't sprayed it in a minute. Fragrances, cherry that I just don't like. They just smell too fake to me. This is what I would call a sexy cherry. Yeah, think of like a smoky, creamy, cherry fragrance. And I said, this it's not so potent that it would annoy me when it's hot, but it's not too soft to where on one of those cooler days, I wouldn't be able to smell it. Mm-hmm. I like this. This is a good one. Bombshell Intense. So that was September. Now we're moving into October. I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know what is. I have allergies today. And I was like, what would I want to wear in October? And I was torn between beach, is it beach nights? Beach, beach, beach marshmallow nights and this new fragrance I got. But the new fragrance went out. And that is Boardwalk Taffy. And this to me. It just reminds me of one of my absolute favorites that I have not been able to get the whole line in yet. It reminds me of Boardwalk Marshmallow Cloud. That's what my nose gets. And in October is where I want to smell cozy. I want to smell sweet. And this is. It's just to me a marshmallowy, sweet, creamy fragrance. Oh, it makes you just want to just somebody go gets closer to you say, oh, you smell good. It's a soft, sweet marshmallow scent. I really like this and I would love to wear it in October. So November, did I pick the wrong one? No, I didn't. So November is colder. So I want to, you know, still smell sweet and inviting. So I chose from Bath and Body Works, Wrapped in Sugar. 
Love the packaging on this. Isn't it so pretty? This is a coconut marshmallow scent. That's, that's what it's vanilla marshmallow coconut. Yeah. And mm, I think it would smell really good. And when I've worn this, I, I wore this, I think I got it at the summer semi-annual sale last year's and then i wore you know i wore quite a bit of it and i wore it during the fall winter months but to me on my skin i get mo mostly the coconut note comes out of my skin when i wanted the vanilla sugary note to come out more but i do enjoy it for cooler months and like i said love the packaging why can't all fragrance mists have that pretty packaging like that Okay, y'all, so we are down to the last month. We're in December, and it's cold. I like to smell sweet. What better way than Bath & Body Works Velvet Sugar? To me, this is a raspberry vanilla sweet scent. That's what I get. It's girly. Sweet and easy to wear. That's what it is. I, I like it. I enjoy it. And I think the packaging is cute on this too. Not as pretty as the wrapped in sugar. All right. Those were the 12 fragrance mists out of my collection that I would wear for one entire year, one per month. Now, I don't have, you know, a ton. I will... For the average person, I do have quite a bit of fragrance mist. I, I've never counted them, but I, I do not believe I have. I know I don't have a hundred. <laughs> I know I'm still in double digits. But I wanted to tag some people that I enjoy watching to see if they would do this. I'm really interested to see which fragrance mist they would choose. So I have them written down. I would like to tag La Monet, um, How Connie, Queen of the Girl Geeks, Miss Bonnie, Tina Marie, True Meeting of Radiance, Nicole No Fire, Joanna McLeod, and Love Amber. I would love for you ladies. I never see a tag. I have never seen a tag for you know, fragrance mists or for Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret. I only see, you know, your top favorite for this, see your, your top 10, your favorite, but not a tag. So I would love, love for you ladies to do this because I think it would be fun. And I'm curious to see, you know, what you pick. I'm really curious. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me some of the fragrance mists you wouldn't mind wearing for an entire month. Please share this video with everyone. Please turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video because you wouldn't want to miss that. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.